everybody. I am Star. And I am JDK. <laughs> and we are the Horror Cats. And today we are going to do a review of Cobweb. <laughs> That's right. Directed by Samuel Bowden and written by Chris Thomas Devlin. We get a chance to see when horror strikes an eight-year-old boy named Peter who tries to investigate the random knockings that he hears inside of the walls of his house and then uh, find out a secret that his sinister parents have kept hidden from him. So, ooh, spooky. That is the synopsis <laughs> for uh, Cobweb. So, Star, what were your initial thoughts um, after watching this? My son and I went to go see it together, and when the movie was over, we basically went... <laughs> I actually was pretty happy. I found myself laughing in the middle of this movie. I think laughing is a great sign because you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> that was great. Yeah. <laughs> and I had yeah, yeah. so many moments like that. For me, definitely, it was one of those movies that the tension was fantastic. So I thought it was okay. I wasn't completely sold on it. And I think, I think oh. it was because I felt like the story was really basic. There's no doubt about it. I think this was a movie that really hit all the marks of a core horror movie. I think it just missed a little bit for me. It was one of those movies that I kind of walked out saying, hey, I have more questions than I do fear of what I yeah, saw. I, um, I kind of disagree. I think that's kind of the point. I like horror movies that aren't spoon feeding me everything. Was there basic uh, horror tropes? Yes. The setups for the jump scares were really well done. You're watching the movie and all of a sudden somebody would just appear and I'm like, oh my God, like, <laughs> or something yeah. in the shadow would happen. And that's what I think real horror is. And I love this in the movie. They had a lot of silence. And they had a, yeah. a point where you see her coming and then it just goes dark. And then you're like, like for a couple of seconds, it's all silent. And then she just comes out and, oh, you know, you're like, oh my God, it scared me. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> but I think the movie went in really quickly. It's 88 minutes, but that's a perfect amount of time for a horror movie. Five minutes in and you're already right into what's going on. Um, so pacing was really quick. It got in, it got out. I was happy. I mean, for me, that that's a win. I think that's a win. Yeah. I'm going to give it an eight. I, I thought it was really good. I thought it was something definitely go see that in the theater where it's all dark and you're all creeped out. It's I think it's perfect. It's a perfect uh, spooky movie. Let me give my rating. I think the last um, the last review that I gave, I gave uh, a four and that was for Red Door, uh, the Red yeah. Door, the, the new Insidious. This one, I'm going to probably give a four as well. And I'll tell you <gasps> why. I think, wow. I think for Cobweb, I think the short duration of it was good. I think that was a good aspect of it. I think when we got from the first act to the second act to the third act, I think there was so much going on that unfortunately for me, where my, my mind gets so analytical, I start trying to put things together and I start trying to yeah. see the story for what it is. And it's a really simple story. If you think about it, it's so mm -hmm. simple that it almost reminded me of like a Grimm's fairy tale. Where Coraline. It, like, Coraline. Yeah, this movie yeah, I, I, reminded that, me 100% yeah. of Coraline. It's the, it's the end of July. The spooky season is starting to come up. And when I started seeing, especially, you know, uh, not, not really a spoiler, but in the backyard, they had all the pumpkins and the jack-o'-lanterns yeah. through it. I thought they're really setting up the season, yeah. but I just thought it was way yeah. too early. But anyways, besides it's that- It's never too I'm, early. Every I'm, day is Halloween. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and the bummer about this what movie I is meant they put it was, <laughs> they Yeah, put they should have waited. Um, they, sh they made it, yes, because they put it right in between Barbie and Oppenheimer. And then at yeah. the end of the month, you have A24's release of Talk To Me. So, yeah. and then there was no, this was very limited theaters there. I had a hard time finding it anywhere except like one place in my area. Um, and so there wasn't a, a lot of promotion on this. It's out there. It probably got a little bit lost in the shuffle, but honestly, I think that, you know, word of mouth is probably going to uh, hold this through this from out, yeah. Insidious, Red Door to Cobweb to that. Now finally talk, talk to, to me. me. I think we got a trifecta coming for the month of uh, July. And I really think that that's, uh, that's going to help. So okay. you have our reviews of this, of this movie. Anything else you'd like to add for this non-spoiler review of Cobweb? Put the comments down below. Did you see it? Are you going to see it? Let us know what you think.
We are the Horror Cat Super Show, and thank you so much for giving us your time, Star. Until next time, guys, remember to shiver, scream, repeat. We'll see you later. Bye. See ya.